Asylum seeker Hadi, not his real name, fled persecution in his home country of Iraq because he is gay. He shows the scars of a recent attempted rape. He reached Britain in January after crossing the English Channel on a small dinghy. Now he is terrified of being sent to Rwanda. We suffered and escaped death. We crossed the sea, all to be sent to Rwanda? Kill me or sentence me to death instead of sending me to Rwanda. I don't have anything to do with Rwanda. As a gay person and a supporter of refugees, this is an unjust and criminal decision. Hadi is among the more than 10,000 migrants this year alone who have crossed the English Channel in small boats to reach Britain. Dozens have died attempting the crossing. Britain says the flow has to stop. Earlier this year, British Home Secretary Priti Patel signed a deal to fly asylum seekers 6,000 kilometres away to Rwanda for processing there as a deterrent to migrants hoping to cross the channel. We're a government, along with our partners, the government of Rwanda, finding new innovative solutions to global problems where I'm afraid other organisations and other countries, you know, are not coming up with alternatives and the status quo is simply not acceptable anymore. The migrants will be housed in hostels like this one in Kigali. At some point, once their status has been fixed, they will have to go and live with other Rwandans, but they will be free, they will not be prisoners. The first flight, taking around 100 migrants to Rwanda, is scheduled June 14th. But the policy has been widely criticised, including by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. A group of non-governmental organisations has launched a legal case to halt the flight. Among them is the charity Care for Calais. People come from Sudan, Syria, Iraq, Iran. Um, they are all terrified. Um, they have all fled their home countries due to absolutely terrible circumstances. A number of them have suffered extreme torture or trafficking. The plaintiffs say the policy breaches international refugee conventions. There's got to be some domestic UK law um, that you rely on because those treaties don't automatically become part of British law. Lawyers for the migrants argue they could be denied a fair hearing in the Rwandan asylum system. Separately, lawyers are also arguing that specific individuals named on the flight should not be sent to Rwanda. So it could be somebody who's been a victim of trafficking, for example. It could be somebody who has been wrongly age assessed as being an adult and actually they, they say they're a child. It could be somebody who's got a serious illness. A court ruling is expected in the coming days. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.